G'day folks, it's Cortezarino. It's been a long, long time, but look where we are. We're back on my lovely world of dystopia. And it's been so long since I was here because I was recording a hardcore series. So we did 10 episodes of that building my awesome Japanese base. And I'm kind of in the in the process of doing a tutorial for the base now. So I'm doing tutorials for Hiroshima Castle. And that is taking up quite a bit of my time. So it's also a little bit boring. So I thought I would take a break and we'd record an episode here. Although I don't have a whole lot planned at the moment. And I noticed something ridiculous. It's been so long since I was here I don't remember floating blocks of whatever that is. I think leaf blocks right up there. I do not know what is going on. Did I chop down a tree and just forget about it? I must have. Oh no, they, they are azalea leaves. Oh, okay, they're going to decay by themselves. I was getting those because I, I didn't have any for some reason, but I was getting those for a little project that I've got just over the hilltop there. See, if you don't know the lore of my world, Dystopia, we are far in the future. There's been a, a calamity, some sort of disaster. The human race was wiped out and everyone who survived was living in bunkers. But the world is nice and happy again. And everyone has emerged from their bunkers and gone off to make little communities everywhere. And so I've got lots of different cultures in a very small area together. So I've got my Japanese area way off over the ocean there. But over here, I've got my Austrian city that I've been working quite a bit on. Over there, it's kind of like a Brothers Grimm German sort of thing. And that's more of a Tudor city over there. But I've decided to open up another area, even though I'm, I'm not nearly done here. I've got lots of work to do. But uh, just over here in the neighboring valley, it's such a pretty valley. I've been saving it for a while. But uh, yeah, we finally started building and you might recognize it as it comes into view. If it comes into view, where is it? There it is. My Tuscan house. So I did a time lapse of this in creative, but I did the time lapse in a copy of this world because I always intended to build my Tuscan house here. And then just off camera, I've been slowly putting it together and we're almost complete. Although I noticed one problem. I do not have any glow berries, which is kind of like a cool little detail for this house, which I would really like to include. Oh man, this is going to be such a pretty area right now. We're certainly not done. I've got lots more to build. I'm currently working on a winery at the moment. I don't know when I'll get that out, but that is going to be just over here somewhere. So as lovely as this little house is, it is not complete until I get glowberries. And it's kind of ridiculous that this world is so, so old now. It's many years old and I've just come across an item that I've never collected. That's because when that update came out, I just flew around and searched for, I think it was a shipwreck to get the moss block. And then I was fine and I, I ran away and I, I've never actually found a lush cave. So now we have to find some newly generated terrain and go looking for one. I can never get over how creepy the base looks in these shaders. Everything's so kind of freaky and shiny. Anyway, I thought this would be a good time to try out something else I've never done. I've never used a lodestone and a compass. Like I've built with lodestones before, but yeah, I've never linked a compass up to one. So I thought if we're going to newly generated terrain just to fly around. I shouldn't have closed that door. I've got to go back through. Yeah, I might as well have a compass so I can find my way back. The nether actually looks pretty good in these shaders though. I think I can actually see better with them on. So I know just the place to go. We're going to head out. Which line is it? This one over here. We're going to head out to my crazy cherry blossom. Is it a village? Is it a garden? I don't even know. And great, it's nearly night time. Let's have a nap. And I hope I've got some iron in here. I'm just thinking of, since I've never been to a lush cave in this world, I can't remember if I need shears. I probably will need shears, so I'll take a pair of those. 
This is coming in very handy, actually, having this extra little storage area in this area. But uh, I've got to figure out where to put the lodestone. And oh, hang on, where is this? Yeah, I've got this in for shulker boxes, so I can place them down when I'm building and then just, boom, get them back when I uh, when I finish. So I don't want to place the lodestone on one of them. Have I got one there as well? I do. Um, I'll just put it over in this corner. I don't think I've got anything here. And do we, yes, okay, I think we're working. And I'll just leave an item frame there for me to put the compass in. All right, let's just fly around, I suppose. Unless you want to have a little tour of my pretty area here. It is quite pretty. I need to do some more work. Like, I, that portal's a bit ridiculous. It's not very safe when I come through. And it's kind of ugly. Maybe I'll, I'll Tory gate that or something. We'll do something a bit cooler. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's just run off, I suppose. I don't know which direction to fly in, and I guess I'm looking for a flowering azalea tree, aren't I? I probably should have researched this a little bit first. Like, uh, do these little little trees appear more often in certain biomes? I have no idea. Okay, this is crazy. If I can find a good landing. There are so many polar bears out here. There's two over there. There's a mother and a cub, and look at all of this. Why are there so many bears here? And why aren't they fighting for territory? There must be enough penguins to go around. Actually, there are no... Oh, I'm falling. There are no polar bears and penguins together. Did you know, actually, there used to be a northern hemisphere penguin, but it wasn't a penguin. It was a completely different breed of bird, but it evolved to fill the same niche as a penguin. So it uh, it used to swim around and it was kind of penguin looking and the humans wiped them all out. I think the last one was killed in Iceland. So that's 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 pretty sad. You know what? I think I might turn the shaders off. That is getting a little bit too hard to see and maybe I will find these things a bit easier. Okay, I just did a quick Google and yes, they do appear more often in certain biomes. So they tend to like jungles because of high humidity and dark oak forests as well. I think they like those and uh, badlands as well. But um, I don't see how I'm actually going to spot them, especially in a jungle. Ooh, there's one. Okay, okay. We know where we're going and I think it's right next to... A cave as well. Oh, I didn't bring any torches with me. All right, let's check the ender chest, see what we've got. I've got a few torches. It's not much though. And I might as well chop a bit of wood while I'm here because I also didn't bring ladders. And I want to be digging straight down. Ooh, coal. That is perfect. Now I can get some torches. Okay, here we are. Let's uh, find a, a safe way in. Okay, I don't see any beasties. It's pretty well lit up in here. I like these glowberries. Makes it safe. Okay, I'm not going to light up this entire thing, but we will make it safe so I can gather some resources. Yeah, it looks like it's only when we have one of these berries that we get a drop. You guys probably already know all this stuff. I'm just learning. And I'll grab a few of these because I don't think. Oh gosh, we've got too much stuff. Yeah, I don't think you can farm these. Okay, that's enough. I've written down the coordinates, so if I ever need to come back, get some more, I can. Let's uh, let's go. Let's get back to base. Ah, uh, there it is. This compass was a great idea. And we'll put the shaders back on because this world is too pretty not to play in shaders, although it's getting a little bit dark right now, so we'll have to have a nap pretty soon. Or we could just stand next to the glowberries because they are nice and shiny. So that has put the finishing touch on my Tuscan house. But uh, we're not done for the episode, guys. There, Well, we haven't done anything, really. I've just got some glowberries. But we've got some building to do in the Austrian city. So every single building in this city has an interior. Except for the Ministry of Fireworks over there. I never got around to doing an interior for that. And I'm letting it get night time so I can 
show you why it is called the Ministry of Fireworks if you never saw that episode. So go on, set sun. Over here we've got a little lever. And if we flick that on and wait a moment, I've got some randomizers hidden in the water down there. There we go. It's so, so pretty. I don't know how much fireworks I have in there. Have I run out? Ooh, no, I haven't. Pretty star one. So that's uh, that's always a bit of fun. Let's have a nap before we get too many things spawn in here. Okay, I think we got away with it. Nothing seems to have appeared. No beasties. So yeah, I built this probably about a year ago, and I just never got around to doing an interior. So if we come to the inside, it's all lit up. And we've got some walls and things, but there's a lot of exposed stone and, yeah, no furniture whatsoever. So I thought for this episode we would at least attempt to get a bit of this done. And I've already begun to experiment with some ideas in creative because so, uh, basically what I wanted to do is I've got these poles here holding up the staircase and they're kind of in the way. So I've done a little design with these walls so I can actually have the staircase sort of uh, sort of attaching to a wall there and it looks like it's being held up and I can get rid of those ugly poles. So I'm going to go quickly throw in those changes right now. And through the magic of television, I've done quite a bit. So here we go. So basically I've just expanded these walls. I've put a little sort of trim around the bottom. And now we have four little rooms in here, which will just be office space or something, I guess. And yeah, it looks much, much better now. The staircase just attaches to that wall. And uh, I've done some playing around with the roof. So I really like this feature. So I've got the sea lanterns there, and then the quartz are sort of hanging down a bit from the, from the roof. I think it looks really nice, although I may have to get rid of it. I've just realized it's a touch too modern, I think. So everything here is sort of medieval and suddenly I've got these these down lights. So yeah, not sure about that. I'm also not sure about this floor. So I thought we needed something really fancy for the Ministry of Fireworks. So I put in this cool floor and then it kind of looks weird when it changes to the spruce here. So I don't know if I want to get rid of the spruce. But then again, I had this idea for a cool rug just with the glazed terracotta. And it looks great when it's in the spruce, but when it's next to these blocks, it doesn't look good at all. So I don't know if I'm taking out the rug and the spruce or if I'm getting rid of this floor. I haven't decided. All right, we'll see how that looks. I really miss it. It looks so nice up there. I think I'd probably have to get rid of these stairs here as well. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Actually, the roof does look pretty good like that. So yeah, I think I'll leave that out and maybe come up with some different kind of lighting. Yeah, I quite like the shape of this roof now. That looks cool. Um, another thing I need to fix, I, I didn't like just having plain archways here. So I put the doorways in. So it looks like just open doors here. But something about that doesn't look right either. Maybe if I, let's, maybe if I put the slabs in across here. How does that look? That's actually not too bad. Um, they don't look like arches at all anymore though. Okay, let's try this instead. So they're not quite as big. Yeah, I think I like that. We'll leave it like that for the, for the time being and see if it grows on me. Um, what else have I done in? Oh, yes, the uh, the map. So I was trying to think of what to put in these rooms and I didn't really want to do all office space for the Ministry of Fireworks. And I realized in my world, I don't have any big maps of everything I've built. So I've been running around doing a bunch of these. So this is five by seven. I can fit everything in. But I think I'm going to do a 7x7 seven seven because I'm pretty sure the Tuscan house will appear just up in the corner there if I uh, if I get some more. Anyway, I've got to I've got to complete this map so we can have a much better look at this. Looks a little odd, all these spots in the floor there. That's all my hidden lighting. 
So the carpet's showing up a bit weird. And that's where we are in the Ministry of Fireworks. So this is cool. Oh, check out the castle here that I'm building. So it doesn't look like much yet, but uh, I've got all these vineyards here. They look cool. Oh no, look what I've done. All these spots here. I've actually got some, uh, some what is it called? Copper. Yeah, I've got all this copper up here that I'm letting oxidize and accidentally put that in my map. So I'm going to have to get rid of all of this. So this copper is something that I'm... I'm getting ready for the end of the episode because I had an idea for something cool. Do you have something cool? No, you've got nothing at all. Why don't you just go away? Stop loitering around here. So anyway, I'm going to go back and do a bit more work on the Ministry of Fireworks. I'm going to get that map done. And then hopefully by that time, all my copper will be oxidized and we can run off and do another little project. Well, this is annoying. I came up here to update the map because I've cleaned up all that copper but uh, where the copper was sitting in the ground these little dirt blocks uh, they are showing up on the map now so that is not fantastic I think we can leave that for another day oh, I can't be bothered waiting for all that grass whoops to grow back that was some good flying uh, you can see here I have replaced the floor so it doesn't look quite as fancy as the other floor but now these rugs actually look pretty good in the ground, so I'm I'm happy with that. And I think a a Ministry of Fireworks should be built mainly out of wood. It's uh, it's just it's a little bit scarier, just makes life a little bit more interesting. Hoping the entire factory won't burn down. There we go. So we've got the map going. I don't know why that one is all dark. What is wrong with that? I don't know. Maybe it's the shaders. So the way I had the map laid out originally was all wrong. I had the castle in the wrong spot. I had this village in the wrong spot. But uh, yeah, it's all it's all good now. This castle is going to look so awesome on the mountaintop once it's done. It looks brilliant on the map. So much bigger than that one, and that one's massive. Uh, so you can see I've got all this landscape out here. So this bit of water is a bit of a dead area. But I included all of this because we've got the Tuscan house up here. And when I start doing some more Tuscan builds, they're probably going to be nice and spread out. So I thought I needed this extra landscape over here. But uh, this should encourage me to do a lot more building. And this is nothing of mine. That's just a pre-existing village. I may have to do a transformation for that since it's on the map. Might as well be part of my build. But uh, yeah, I finished decorating the room. So pretty simple. Just a few armor stands around here. I quite like these little candelabra things. They look really nice. And I've decorated up the top there with some end rods and diorite and sort of fixed that up as well. So the the roof is finished, I think. Got some nice decorated pots. This is a cool idea, having the leaves on top of them. I think that looks nice. And just little bits of furniture. I haven't done anything in these rooms yet. I've just put the floor in and yeah. Little bits of furniture scattered around. I quite like this as a lamp. That looks pretty cool. And I don't think I've done anything in this room. No, just a few little candelabras again. A little bit of furniture and fixed up the roof. And I haven't done anything with upstairs. I think once I finally update and get automatic crafters, I might want to put them up at the top here just to automatically make fireworks. If you can do that with the automatic crafters, I imagine you can. But I don't think I will continue with anything else in this building today. It's looking at least a little bit presentable. I mean, that roof up there isn't, but uh, it's much, much better than it was. But I have another thing I want to get on with. So now that I've got my waxed, oxidized copper, we are ready to do this final little project. And I've already gathered up, I think, all the materials I need, although I am going to need... Tons and tons of dirt. Yeah, I think I've got enough in there. And this project is something that you've seen before, but I'm going to give it an extra little bit of flair, and we are going to end the episode with a time lapse, I think. So thanks for watching, guys. It's been great to return to Dystopia. It's so nice having a base with everything I need in it. And we will be back soon once again, and next time I think we will be building a Tuscan winery. 
hopefully unless I get a different idea. So I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Time.